Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Ahmad and welcome to another episode of E-Vlogs. Now, as you can see from my clothes, it's wedding season right now. And with COVID, that means Zoom wedding. Now, most of you guys watching this probably own a fancy mirrorless or DSLR camera. Well, now we can actually use those to kind of take your average Zoom webcam to a completely whole different level. Let's go. All right, the first thing you need to do is the standard Zoom link, I think expires in like 40-ish minutes or so. Now the wedding ceremony is gonna be much longer than that and you don't wanna be in a situation where you lose a Zoom link and then you need to create a new one and send it out to like the hundreds of people you have to send it to. So try to reach out to a friend who has a corporate account. Well, that's what we did for the wedding. We had somebody who had that and there's no, you know, no cutting of the Zoom link. So yeah, get a corporate account with unlimited time on Zoom. Number two is set up the Zoom link in advance. Obviously you know when the wedding's gonna be. Instead of doing a last minute and having to send it out and share it across WhatsApp, groups. Number three, share an itinerary. Now understand with these Zoom weddings, people all across the world, like the ones who are sitting at home are kind of just like sitting waiting to see what's happening and they're getting kind of edgy too. So I think it's best if you can make some kind of itinerary for them, let them know, you know, um, bride comes out at this time. This is when the religious ceremony happens. Let them know so they have an idea so they can keep messaging you and distracting you on that Zoom chat. Little tip actually, I end up using Canva. So Canva is a great website that I use for like my thumbnails, for my videos. I use it for like invitation cards. And what I did was we made an invitation card. We set the timings in there. We hyperlinked the Zoom link in there as well and send it out and boom, we're good to go. Now, the most important thing that makes this whole thing happen is this little device. It's a cam link. I'm gonna put this in the description. This little baby, I think it costs about like $100 US dollars. You take this, you connect it to an HDMI, yee, like that. Take that wire, put it into your camera, connect this into a laptop, and now you can stream directly off your fancy camera for the Zoom link. Of course, please, please, before you buy this, do check if this works on your camera. I use an A6600, hence it works for me. You gotta check if it works for your cameras or not. All the links, everything, is in the description below. Now, of course, before you head to the wedding, make sure you charge your camera. It's gonna be running for an extended period of time. It could be outdoors, it could be hot, whatever it is, charge your camera. On the day of the event, you definitely obviously need to bring your camera, bring this wire, your tripod, bring a mic, because you want to be able to stream, people want to hear you know, the bride and groom and the surroundings. And obviously you bring a laptop. Now this is critical. You need to figure out the right place to set up at the wedding, because what you need is, you're gonna have your camera on a tripod. You're gonna have it connected with this wire, however long it is connect it all the way to a uh, laptop, which is gonna be powered. All that needs to be set. You need to make sure you get the right angles. At the same time, you're not blocking, not in the way. You don't want people tripping over, rocking over your camera. Now what I use for the wedding, I use my Sony F4 zoom lens because that gives me more flexibility in capturing the bride walking in, the groom looking, getting shots of you know people crying, adding the emotional drama to the, to the event. So zoom lens, luckily there was enough light for that. If you guys wanna know what are my basic lenses and equipment that I have, I'll put a link to this video to show you my basic vlogging gear and what I keep. Also, another thing that we missed when we were doing the event was, yes, obviously you can record directly through your camera, hit the record button on your camera, you can capture the event, but you can actually record through Zoom. But the thing is, to record through Zoom, you need to be the host of the meeting. Now, because we use somebody else's link, we were on the host of the meeting, hence we couldn't record. So what you need to do is use that corporate account so you get unlimited access, but then they need to make you the host. Then you click that Zoom button, or it's on your laptop itself, and you've kind of made a wedding video too out of the Zoom, right? Oh, and finally, finally, make sure you pin your video. So Zoom has all these different boxes. Whoever talks, their video pops up. Now you need to make sure you pin the main video, which is gonna be obviously the wedding video live stream because uh, people wanna see that and not each other's facing popping in. So make sure you do that. Whew, I'm like, I'm exhausted just talking about that, man. This, it, it does get exhausting. So remember Zoom is great, but try to enjoy the wedding itself for the people that are there. It's great if it works out. And for the people on Zoom, be patient, man. Like I was getting so many messages on, on Instagram, on WhatsApp and things. And you know, we're trying to enjoy the wedding. We're trying to capture it. We're trying to cover it. It's a whole new dynamic for everybody. So everyone needs to be a little patient. But guys, for you guys watching, this is a great business idea too. If you invest in this, you already have, I'm sure, uh, a decent you know camera. You can actually do this as a side hustle. Weddings, of conferences, of interviews, etc. So yeah, guys, that's it. Do subscribe if you uh, found value in this video. If you didn't, then I'm surprised you've actually sat through this whole thing. Screen is gone, screensaver is on. That means I'm running out of time. This is E signing out. Peace. <laughs>